Now, it's important to know that even though Miguel Cotto was WBC world champion at 160 pounds, he's always been ranked by the WBA at 154 pounds since he lost to Floyd Mayweather back in 2012. I'm T Street Controversy. This is T Street Controversy Live. Here's how it breaks down when it comes to the WBA at 154 pounds. If you don't know, the WBA has ordered that there are no longer going to be regular titles. Sometimes within the next year or two years, there should be just one WBA champion and then one WBA interim champion. So it's a situation where you got, for example, it was Floyd Mayweather, who was the WBA Super World Champion at 147 and 154 pounds. And at 147, you had Keith Thurman, who was the WBA World Champion, and um, Iris Landy Lara, who's the WBA World Champion at 154 pounds. So the WBA's goal is to eliminate those second titles and it just be one WBA Super Champion in each division. Now, when it comes to 154 at this point in time, here's how the rankings go. Floyd Mayweather has vacated the WBA title or stripped, whatever the case may be. But now, Iris Landy Lara, who's the WBA World, Ch World Champion, or WBA regular champion should be elevated to WBA's Floyd Mayweather status super world champion. Now, when will that happen? It's supposed to happen sometime within the next, you know, I guess before Aries Landy Laura's next fight. But what they're saying now is num ranked number two by the WBA, which is number one is some guy named uh, Jack Calque. You can actually watch his fights on YouTube. He's not bad, but Aries Lindy Laura was shoe shining and Miguel Cotto would beat him. So when it comes to the WBA rankings, I know I'm a little bit confusing right now, but follow me. You have now just one champion. There's only going to be one champion at 154 for the WBA now, not two. So Aries Lindy Laura is the champion at 154 pounds. Then number one is uh, Jack Calque, then number two is Miguel Cotto. What they're allowing is, they're allowing for Miguel Cotto to be the mandatory for Iris Landy Lar, and the winner will be the WBA super champion or only champion at 154 pounds. Now, can that fight happen? Miguel Cotto is with Rock Nation. Rock Nation fighters and Rock Nation have been fighting on HBO and BET, and basically they don't, have um, a deal with Showtime, in my opinion, from what I know, they're in bed with HBO. So, which means that if Miguel Cotto, who is A-side over Laura, even though Cotto lost his last fight, fuck what you heard, Miguel Cotto's A-side. Even if you like it or not, I don't like it, but in Cotto's world, he's A-side. So, that means Laura would have to come over to HBO to fight Cotto. So, right there, and the fight can't happen. Aries Landy Laura's had the... Um, over the, he, he's had this bit of a uh, bit of animosity lately on Twitter. You know, he's been harassing Golovkin, talking about why Golovkin won't fight him and all kind of stuff like that. Aries Lindy Laura is not a big enough draw for HBO and Showtime or PBC to work together for. If you get where I'm going, if you know the political landscape. So for him to keep calling out Golovkin, it's like, yo, dog, you're going to go to HBO to fight him? You know, like people like me, we know the truth. I know the truth. I know I know that for one, Golovkin is not going to break his HBO contract to come fight you on PBC, you know, or Showtime. HBO is number one still when it comes to boxing. Let's not forget that. So why would he that, that that's ass that's asshole backtracking? You know, why would he do that to fight Iris Landy Lar? Now I would love to see the fight, but Iris Landy Lar won't come to HBO to fight him where he would make the most money. You see what I'm saying? So when it comes to that situation, now get a little bit hype. But if you don't know, once again, I'm T-Street Controversy. This is T-Street Controversy Live. When it comes to this news about the WBA, or the WBA can't enforce shit when it comes to when it comes to Miguel Cotto. You saw what he did to the WBC title at the last minute, didn't pay them their sanctioning fees, burned Golovkin for a step aside money, and then basically said the WBC don't run me. I'm not paying y'all shit. Fuck that belt. And basically, he knew he was going to get stripped. So will he fight Aries Landy Laura because the WBC says he can? I don't. You know. You know. Don't feed into it. Even though it's even though it's news. Don't feed into it. It's not happening. It's not happening. As much as I would love for it to happen, Miguel Cotto versus Aries Lady Laura, in my opinion, is a dream fight. But will it happen? Nah, I'm not. I'm not wasting my time. I'm T Street Controversy on Twitter. All my links to my social media are right down below in the description box. I'm T Street Controversy on Facebook. This is T Street Controversy Live. Please subscribe.